Hello. Welcome to another video. Bit of I'm, a woman. Huh? I'm just doing a bit of German, mate. Just a bit of ah, ruined intro. German. Hello and welcome to another video. We, and by we I mean me. And him. And him, Joey D. We're on Dartmoor down south of all places. And the reason that we're down here is because Joe only had a small window of a few days where he could get away and the Lake District was everywhere was forecast rain except here so we've come down to Dartmoor and we're doing a multi-day hike I don't know what to expect really I think it's just over 60 kilometer hike through woodlands through mountain like I say mountains tours around reservoirs lakes it's very varied boggy in places apparently you can have a look at the route I'll put it down below Nice looking horses, aren't they? Yeah. I've already seen an owl, which is pretty cool. Day owls. There's not much better in the wildlife game than the day owl. owl. Simon Day Owl. There's this huge... Deep, dark wood. Deep, dark, thick forest. Thick. Forest, yeah. We're just about to head into it for a change of scenery. Also, early warning, sorry about the lack of banter. And I say, t I punched the word tor there because we're in Dartmoor and there's a lot of tors. So I'm trying to get good with banter. But, I mean, we only had four pints last night, but four pints is enough just to take the edge off the banter, innit? <laughs> He's gone, he ain't got nothing. Maybe tomorrow, or maybe I've got a little bit of whiskey. What you need is a wild swim and then, then, yeah. then the bants comes back, doesn't the it? The bants is created, yeah, it's forged in the in the cold. So what we'll do is, please forgive us for this first bit where we're a little bit hazy and we'll be back with the bantors. He'll be back when it get him wet, get him all cold and wet and I'm half... Like a, I'm like a gremlin. He's like a gremlin. Get him cold and wet and with a bit of whiskey in him and that'll be that. Ban Bantor. Right, look at this. Into the woods we go. It's about to get dark. Might be first latch and lock. I'll say what did you say? That's a 12, 12 footer? footer. Yeah, it's a classic 12 footer. It's, it's lost its. It's lost its appeal and it's lost its yeah. spring. Oh. oh. I mean, it does. No, nah. too much shoulder work and we don't want to have to do nah. that. Satisfying though. Put that back on. It's, I like that, that it just sort of. Oh, yeah, it tensions itself. Yeah, it's needed, isn't it? That lock is needed. And uh, nice little chamfer on that post at the top. Not very worn in, it's still quite rough, so this is not a well trodden area. But not a bad first effort. Oh, it's screaming mushrooms, isn't it? <laughs> there we go, there's one. One and done. One and done. Me and Joey D, we're looking for a reservoir, looking for a waterfall, stream, river, puddle, whatever it is. And uh, we've got no idea where we're going to end up tonight. We've got no specific camp spot planned. So we're just going to go until eight or nine o'clock at night, maybe do 20 mile and then see. And that's one of my favourite parts of, like, of long distance hiking is when you get to the end of the day and you're looking for your perfect spot. Yeah, it's, it's so exciting get that. to a zone of like right from anywhere from now is a good yeah from good now time. we're tired let's look let's get dialed in yeah and often more often times than not you find somewhere pretty good only occasionally you'll get an absolute howler like i got on the fjell raven classic look how it, it, it there's like a path yeah. with these stones either side of it this path is lined with stones down to another stone circle down there. We've come down here. We're just double checking in case it is left or right, which it isn't. And it's straight ahead. Straight ahead, down here. <laughs> Making a movie. What's this? 
Rest in peace, look at this old timer. Yeah, once, once upon a time, but there's the other bit. Look at that, once upon a time. Oh, look at bend. Oosh. And that would have gone on to, look at that, man. Pad, look at old padlock. Oosh. There's all inner workings of a fallen soldier. Thank you for your service. That's where they're hiding. It's a good one. Oh, hi. Look at that. Beautiful. Oh no, I don't like that. Just swings all the way through, it ain't got a, a brace on it to stop it. Mind you, then you can open it both ways, I guess, but. Yeah, fair dues. Another stone circle. See in the middle of there with your jaw sticks and get about it. Someone's left this gate open. Oh. Not on my watch. Not that way, danger of death. <laughs> cheers, but no cheers. This is Berberis. Berberis berries. Not edible. Right, this is bonkers. I just got here. We're just doing a hike that I just planned, and by sheer coincidence, I've ended up at the place that I came when I did an article with the Mountain Bike UK magazine lads. And there's a picture of me in the magazine. I'll put it on screen here. Just lying down in here. Fantastic. <laughs> yeah, I got in there. Glorious. But it's not deep enough for us lads, we're going to keep going. But a lovely little trip down memory lane, there was some edibles over here, if I can remember correctly. It was, there was some raspberries. A bit early on in season, but... Nice little memory jogger. This is a beautiful gate, this. There's a lot going on. We'll, uh, we'll discuss more in depth over here at Latch and Locks. Go give it a follow if that's your thing. Why isn't it your thing if it's not your thing? <laughs> See you there. Look at this. My favourite type of walking is over here. I've said it before, just this like short grass. Lovely and soft on your feet. Nice and undulating so it gives your ankles a good work around. It's not nice, it's not repetitive and flat so it doesn't stray in the same area. It's just perfect hiking. There's this, these woods. We came in from the other side of these woods cut through these woods around this reservoir up here and we're heading to the top of this which is our first tour and there we are I think we're heading to that big one up there I think that's the biggest one or the highest above sea level but well, it is beautiful isn't it Bog Myrtle, which way do you go? Bog cleared. Look at this. Amazing. Oh, we've got to get in there, haven't we? We've got to. Got to get in there. All together. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Got some medjool dates to snack on. Perfect trail snacks, healthy, full of natural sugars. Real tasty.
nothing goes better with medjool dates than a nice black coffee and that's what we're about to have. Taylors of Harrogate, get at me. <laughs> oh, it's cold, isn't it? Show me a way out. Give me a sign of the storm. Dating is lying in the woods. Just let it take you wherever it wants. It's perfect. <laughs> it's so good, isn't it? <laughs> it's perfect. <laughs> it's perfect. <laughs> Unbelievable, Jeff. I see it sometimes behind those kind eyes. <laughs> Wake me up when this is all over. And take my heart with both of your hands. I've been spending all my days just trying to find the way. And here we have a cow in amongst the stone circle. Big cow, he's been there for it. That was an old woman. She sat here doing some praying and whatever, and now look. It's got quite a small head inside the body. It's, me it's a mess, it hasn't fully finished transforming. Yeah. Good luck, good luck, Ethel. You'll get there with Ed and that. <laughs> there we are, look. A super zoom. Get super zoom. For steep for stone circle look. It's like a drone shot. <laughs> Stunning, eh? Do you feel spiritual? I do. You do? I'm spiritualized. They're everywhere you look, aren't they? Medic! An adder. Britain's only poisonous snake. Yeah, Britain's only poisonous snake. Get up, you. If they charge, mate, yeah. just stand tall, side by side. Right. You know, in Transformers, just double up. <laughs> Get on my He's shoulder. Spinning me round. Uh, yeah. I'll just, do that. just like squawking like a massive fuck, like a massive pigeon. <laughs> <laughs> I'll sort him out. Uh, his hench, that, that one at right. Yeah. Dame Judy hench. Look at that, T. Travis Perkins. Home delivery. Oh, yeah. Right over in the distance, that dark patch is the, the wood that we came through. And we've weaved our way all the way through to here. And we're going to go up. And around just on them ridges as far as you can see there right on the edge of the north edge of Dartmoor you can see over here to the like the farmland and stuff just on the outskirts it's all still beautiful and if there's a feeling of its remoteness yeah. always film it though just in case it kicks off for the you know found the found footage oh yeah now then. Now this is one at river crossings, I guess if you were if it was uh, if it was it like fast flowing or after some rain then you're done in here like right, yeah. you're done in. Fatigue setting in, we're about 15 or 16 miles. What I think this is, is the early warning, like 
if that light's on and there's a flag on there it means the military are uh, training so you've got to stay out of the military danger zone which we're in at the moment but there's no flagger out so risking it for a biscuit yomping yomping through Dartmoor naked mole rat right we found this place here which is just a, an absolute haven look it's got just enough for two tents and there's a little like it's a tiny little stream and you come round you look over here it's got like a little plunge pool a little plunge pool you can get in should you so desire oh my god it's going to be cold but we need to soothe our legs how deep is it oh my god what it's deep <laughs> oh it's cold isn't it huh why is it so cold what an amazing little plunge pool though to soak the old legaroons wow Oh. Praise God! Genuinely sorting legs out here and nogging. Uh, if you go there for a little minute, get a nice shot of us up river. My legs are a bit cold. Will you stay there, please? That's it, brother. Woo! Oh. What a day on legs that was, eh? Huh? Yeah. Good march. It was. Decent march. Felt that, yeah. We felt it and we're ready for some fodder. Hmm. Falling on our feet. Getting chicken curry on go. What are you having? Chicken curry. A couple of chicken cousins. I'm in new wigwam. Which. I've certainly not set up right because that pole isn't straight, isn't straight at all. But uh, see, it went up real quick. It's a Durston X mid. Uh, I'm gonna use this a little bit more on this hike, and then I'm gonna do a full review on it once I've uh, got to grips with it because it's my first ever Dyneema tent, and so far so good. Josin is trusty. Lanshan 2 Pro, I believe. That looks perfectly set up. Bathtub's nice and high. Plenty of space underneath for air to float. Lovely, lovely stuff. And uh, we've done all right. I'll put all the stats on here when I uh, do a little map time for you of how far we've gone. But yeah, we're a bit tired, so we're just ready for our chicken cousins. Chicken curry adventure foods. Hooked. Let's have a look at it. There you go. Who cares? Oh, yeah. Mmm. These are lovely. Right. We're going to have our tea. Chill for a bit. I don't think we're going to have any whiskey. It'll be an early night because I put some miles in today, didn't we? Yeah. Got another shift to put in tomorrow. Another shift tomorrow. It's forecast to rain. Six o'clock in the morning. Be a wet shift. A wet shift. We'll see how it goes. Let's have a little map time. We started at the Warren House Inn and off we went. Great to see some wild horses straight out of the traps. We went up here, we ignore that little bit. And then we head into the forest, through the forest. Some lovely stone circles through here. You come out to Fernworthy Reservoir and 
absolutely stunning around here there's a lovely little bird hide there's beautiful scenery all the way through here follow the side of the reservoir down here over the little river and back up and then this is where you head out onto the open moors and our first tour from there we cut across to chagford common down here around here and then this is where we got to our first stop our first wild swim we chilled out there for a bit lovely little area kept going a lot of this is very difficult navigation it's not uh it's not the easiest hike this so just bear that in mind if you are going to attempt it you do need navigation skills because a lot of these paths out on the map so you've got to make it up as you go and all the way around here up onto the top of here the views were spectacular now this is where you cross into the uh Oakhampton range the military range so which you can see here by this red border so anything in here is the military range you just want to keep your eye out for the flags and the lights if they're up it's a no-go area but we were okay along we went very boggy along here as well the path keeps disappearing onto here again lovely views and then we head out of the firing range area which is good news down here and this by this river here was night one and that's where we wake up morning glampers we've been up a bit we've had a we've had a black coffee a couple of medjool dates didn't rain last night but everything's soaking wet because there's a lot of condensation just filled the old sinoc bag so we'll filter a bunch of water before we leave how do you sleep joseph I slept really well yeah sort of like dozed off about nine o'clock i think nine o'clock oh you've had <laughs> a good night. we've had a good snooze today that's a good thing about it when you after hiking all day you can have a proper kip new tent held up brilliantly i'm not going to talk too much on it at the moment because i don't know enough about it because i've not spent enough time in it but once i've spent a bit more time in it we'll have a word uh, we're going to square away our tents and then we're heading up to the top of this hill and making a plan for the day. I think there's going to be some woodland, some uh, waterfalls and all sorts today. So let's crack on. Leave no Tracy Chapman. And off young Frodo. Whoa. Takes a K or two just to get legs back under you. We've sort of come off our, our planned route yesterday across these tops, which were really boggy where they do the uh, military training and stuff. Oh, film it in case it all goes horrifically oh. wrong. Oh, he's got a bog. What is it, bog foot? I almost went, mate. I slipped. <laughs> he almost got the bog myrtled. Come on, boys and girls. Here we go. Look. Cirque du Soleil's outdoors. We're off piste and it is bog myrts and we've got wet feet now. That's that. It should be okay because we're just following this path which takes us to, on the map, a waterfall and links us back with the pre-plotted route. So we're just going to have to accept some wet trotters, aren't we? I do wear my uh, proper hiking boots in winter just, to, just for the extra warmth, really. You know, if the clouds clear, we're just drying everything out. And this is boring chat. Sorry, everyone. I've spoke about footwear. Probably do it on every long distance hike. I'm choosing this because of this. We know. Crack on. Oh, the dunk detector is going batshit. We, we found this place. We, we don't know 100% whether it's good for dunking, but it looks very promising so far. Oh, it does look deep. Ah. Oh, yeah, he's there. Don't jump off there, whatever you do. Oh. 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 The sun's coming out! Oh, 
on that away! Oh my word. <laughs> the warmth of the sun has to go in there. This is pure, pure good feelings. Yeah. I don't know. Like coffee won't do it. Like there's nothing in the morning or... Oh, that is just energy. Yeah. It's like a transfer of energy from the water to you. That's how you do it. That's one of my favourite things to do on this planet. Wild swim, waterfall, bit of sunshine for us when we got out as a tree. And now we'll have a bit of a spring in our step as we head off into some wooded areas. So I'm looking forward to that. Top banana is the first time I've ever said that. Let's get on one of them. Come on. Let's get on one, come on. Knackered. Let's get on this little Too Diablo. Young. Two young foals, haven't they? Nice hair, he's got hair like you, in a way. Don't yes. mind me. Don't mind us. See ya. She looks a bit mean. Stick together. Stay close. Sheltered on all angle, on pretty much all, all sides, yeah. But I love the way things are hidden. I love that, uh, you know, waterfalls and rivers and all. You just don't know they're there. Right, so we're, go we're on this outcrop of rocks. We're going to go. We're heading to the next one there. We're going tour hopping. Look at that one over there with the horses at the base of it. We've got some horses down there. Someone's starting a renegade cairn. Ah, stop that. Get it on there. Good lad. Beautiful. You can see how far we've come. And you can see also where we're, go where we're going. And where we're going is over to this one, which looks stunning. Yeah. This group of rocks. And then we're going to cut down around through these woods. And I think through these woods and up onto these tops maybe if we pass a pub joe said he's definitely wanting to get a few pints down him. he started shaking hadn't you mm. he's got the shake so we've got to get him a pint of mild or something to take edge off i may not be able to carry the ring master frodo but i can carry you <laughs> oh please do, thanks. That's pretty difficult. Oh cheers, I'll just jump on your back. <laughs> Oi! Is the having it? Ah, there's got to be having it, hasn't there? Oh yeah. Eh? Wow. Ah, uh, there's got to be having it. Nice one. Oh, there's worse places to have a brew. We had a little look at our maps and we saw there's a river down here and uh, we started to cut off the tops and come down here and see if there was a path to follow the river, which is this, we think. We're using the All Trail map as a guide and we're just like cutting corners and going off piece to look at other things. And that's the beauty of it. You don't have to stick to a rigid route. You use it as a template or a guide and then just do your own thing. That's how you find amazing waterfalls and stuff. Or oh, get lost in bracken full of ticks. Bitten by, bitten by adders and ticks all over your gooch. We've stopped behind this rock for a couple of dates and some coffee. And that's it, not going to eat today. Joe's had a little dessert breakfasty thing, haven't you? Yeah. Whatever it was. A raspberry crumble. A raspberry crumble from Decathlon. A bit disappointing to us. You didn't like it? No. Didn't like it, did you? No. It's not filled that void inside him which only a pint of John Smith's can fill. <laughs> uh, we're leaving our little chill zone. We had several ticks on us. Don't know whether it's because we came through some long bracken down there, but the chances are it's just that that is a lovely place where animals have just been chilling out. So it's riddled with ticks. None of them that we found were biting us, so should be all right. Tick buried in me. This is the third one taken off today. I don't use a tick key, just use tweezers. Get it, twist it, pull it out and sack it off. Ah, oh, scenes, lads, scenes. Na, na, na. No, no, look at the state. 
so stunning out there. The only creature that can fly backwards. The most advanced flight of any animal. Yeah, have you seen the uh, dune? Yeah, and they've got Where these they... copters. Yeah. Also, I held one of these the other day, and it's, it put, took its jaws out like it was going to bite me, and its jaws were... He's got like man, like jaws that come out, extend out. Yeah, because they're like hunt on it's the wing, don't they? Crazy. He's a beautiful one. Beautiful. Black and yellow. He's your new Pokemon. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. Keep him on, yeah. What the fuck are you keeping him on me? <laughs> keep, keep him on you. Well, turn up to the pub with that on you, mate. You'll get a free pint. Nah, he's on you. you come on, he's yours now. Walk along with a dragonfly in your hand, or what's the point in being alive? <laughs> Come on, she took him in away from path. Hey, up! Oh, oh, he's off. He's off! See you, best mate. Bye, guy. Mad that you can fly now. Follow oh, me on Facebook. Yeah, follow me on Facebook. <laughs> oh, that was lovely, that. Good spot, that, mate. How did you see that? Just I, I eagle eye cherried him. Look at that, mate. Oh, yeah, look at that. Oh, he's been in set there. He's got a little maker's mark or something. Lovely. It would have been once a fine specimen when that was in check, but now, as a lot of these things come to, it's the good old rope. Rope the dope. There we are. A lovely backdrop. Here we are, the powder mills. The powder mills was a factory built in 1844 for making gunpowder. Gunpowder was needed for the tin mines and granite quarries then in operation on the moor. The buildings were widely spaced from one another for safety. Just because you don't want one blowing up and then leading to a chain reaction and them all blowing up. Uh, the walls as well were reinforced and the roofs were made quite weak. So if it did blow up, it would go straight up, like force the blast straight up in the air again for safety. But they just remain ruins now. They're pretty cool to look at. Yeah, but what do you think? It's just going to be a chimney. Like, what do you expect? I'll have a look. With the camera. What is it? Is it? <laughs> <laughs> it's got like uh, ferns growing out of the top. Oh, has it? That's cool, that. Yeah, that's cool, isn't it? Could you sleep wow. in there? You get a very wet face. More cool stuff. The old bail band. Holding farmers' trousers up since 1872. <laughs> walk on. Walk on. Walk, walk on. on. We've opened your heart. Cheers. Look at that slavering <laughs> unit. We, oh my God. Built like a hotel, mate. Here we go, rope again. That's the sign of the times around here. Honor. That works, but we've gone for rope as well. Just, just bolted it in, look at that. Cool, let's go, let's go. Nah, it needs a bit of needs a bit of shoulder work. Belt and braces, good to go. Right. And there's another change of scenery. Bilberries. It's just perfect man. And there'll be people watching this who aren't from the UK and aren't used to these sort of you know, this crazy scenery. I mean, there'll be people in the UK who aren't used to this crazy scenery, but there it is. And by crazy scenery, I mean this kid here, look. Ah. Doing a bit. Doing a bit. We need to get up there to that trig point. Oh, yes, man. Woo! Yes. Yes, man. Loving it. Look at that. Oh. Peaceful. Let's ruin it with a drone shot.
Bance hasn't been crazy on this one, guys. Sorry, because uh, I think we came out at traps a little bit hungover because of the England game, and then and then tiredness takes over because you've hiked so far, and so you're just a bit like focused on your mission. But it is what it is. We're now heading pubwards to see what we can get. Oh, <laughs> lovely, lovely, and then tomorrow. We're meeting up with uh, the raffle winner, whose name is Joe, Joey F. He won the raffle to come camping with us, so here we are in Dartmoor. We're going to meet him tomorrow and go camping, just go for a little hike, maybe a wild swim, all that sort of stuff. Boink. Leads to busy roads. Don't click. Cheers. I think it's thirsty. <laughs> oh no, not one of them, not, not like this. Yes, not a... It's a welder. A lifter. There's no point in doing this shit. I'll do it anyway. You can't even reach it. It's not going anywhere because it's touching the floor. Onward. That's a warning shot, mate. Oh. Yeah, yeah. See you later, Daz. There's a lot of weight there. Yeah, it? mate. Look at the look at head on it. Oh no! If that wants to do you, it would do you. I would have to just give it some sort of spinning head, but turn its skull into dust. I'll keep looking back just to check it's not at least like following me and listening. Bit of stone, isn't it? That's going into. It's not a lifter. To lift it, oh yeah, I'll lift it, put your leg work in, so be it, there you go, get in the bath, get in the bath, it's alright actually, yeah. oh yeah, I've got out of dirtier baths, lost its spring, lost its spring RIP, Jerry Springer. Feeling it, aren't we? Lagging. We were lagging, flagging behind. So as another scenery change, look at this. Look how tall these pines are. It's absolutely majestic. And they're not all close together like plantations. It's a, although it, is, it has been planted, but it's just stunning. Completely different. Oh yeah, we can see the White House right up there in the distance. That's the pub, and it is the highest pub in the south of England, apparently, and was booming during the tin mining trade back in the day. Many moons ago, 1800s was it, something? 1810. 1810, yeah, very oh, old pub. Oh, what does it say about its fire? Was burning. And the fire has been burning since the 1800s, so even in summer they've got the same fire still going. There it is. There it is. Is it a mirage? Is it a mirage? It's just starting starting to darken up over there. But by the time that hits, we're going to be tucked in that heavenly alehouse. Staff required. <laughs> Staff required. I'm going to get a job, mate. That's me. Live here for a bit. Look at it, mate, there's beer and everything. I like it, mate, I like it. Fucking fat piece of fire that's never been off. Couple of steak and ale pies, crumble, that sort of fodder, pint of Guinness. The lady in the pub said, stay around this area because it's been smashing it down. Walk along here. Try and find somewhere flat, I guess. Oh, 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 Gabby! <laughs> a good guy, <grind> over. <laughs> oh, it's fast. The water feels so Clean. nice, doesn't it? Yeah. It's like 
There's a, what's the word for it? Viscosity. Yeah. This is our fourth wild swim of this trip. Oh, and uh, they've all been super. The wild swimming has become a, a theme that we didn't, I didn't think would be as, as much as this, but it's been fantastic. It's been some of the best spots. Yeah, really, like, so good for wild swimming, man. I'll go up here and then I'm going to totally merge and swim down here. I'll show you how fast it is with no splashing. And that's where we wake up. Away we go, straight up onto the top of the toes. Beautiful views. We're glad we stayed here because once you do pop up here, it's a, it's pretty rough ground, pretty wet all the way along here. This is where we found another wild swimming area. Beautiful little area. And up we go, up, and then a little bit of tour hopping from one to another. Some beautiful rock formations, some lovely places to camp along here. We actually went down here through all this bracken and followed this river for a bit. I tried to at least, then came back up, down here, to the powder mills, up, over the road, into the forest, through the forest, ever-changing, beautiful scenery through here, up on to Bella Vertor. again, beautiful views from there, you double back along the same path for a little bit, and then you're off into post bridge where there is a little shop we didn't use it but you can uh, restock at this shop if you if you choose to there's also a pub there we were straight off the beaten track following this fatigue was setting in big time we were so hungry keep going into this little forest here make our way through there back out onto the moon this from this stretch you could see the pub and we were buzzing for it all the way back round bank there you go there was the pub where we had a wonderful meal then we just walked down here we camped near the van around here went for a delightful wild swim the next morning got refreshed and got ready to meet the raffle winner for a, a full day hike and a wild camp which will be the next video right thanks for watching if you've managed to stick along this far i do appreciate it i'll see you soon show me a way out Give me your side of the story Throw me a rope in